Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm really excited because I'm going to be showing you how to code a website that looks like this. This is an uh, Next.js uh, website that is actually housing all the OpenCV code uh, that you can see here. As you can see, this is uh, the navigation bar. It's got the, I'm gonna show you how to do these from scratch and how to um, basically populate it. And the most important thing is the, the drop downs, the navigation bar, because this is where we have the, the OpenCV code for each one of the uh, OpenCV algorithms from the OpenCV library. So you can see the camera, static images. I'm gonna be showing you static images because I'm running the camera and I don't have the second camera hooked up. So I'll just show you the static. And uh, this is scanning edge detection algorithm. It gives, it has the parameters with the sliders for you to change the different parameters. I'll just zero them out to start from the beginning. And then we choose the image that we're gonna be dealing with. In this case, let's deal with this one. And we're going to apply the edges on it. Um, what we'll do is process the image, and you can see the canny edge uh, applied to it. Now you can change the thresholds. You see, as you increase the thresholds, it changes. And I'll show you how to change these parameters and uh, how to do all these. To, so you can customize them for your particular application. And for example, let's try another one. Let's do, just to give you an idea, this is a segment, the instrument gram equalization for biology, biological images very, can come very handy. Okay, and uh, let me, I want to show you some of the Gaussian blur. Now we're, it gives you options. We're going to do Gaussian blur first. Let's start with a low kernel size. And as you increase the kernel, you're going to see the blurring taking place. As you see, it becomes more blurry. You can increase to a medium blur. Same thing, we'll start from the scratch. And you can see it gets blurrier as we increase the kernel size. Okay. And that's what we'll be doing. Uh, but how are we going to do it? We're going to be using, uh, like I said, Next.js. Next.js is based on the React library, and you can go here if you want to find out more about the documentation. So they have a very good documentation. Uh, we'll also be using TypeScript. For those of you who do not know what TypeScript is, TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. It's basically making JavaScript better. came out, uh, I think, Microsoft. Uh, 2012, I believe, and uh, I, it uses generics, it uses interfaces, uh, and it's more, it works better with, with bigger projects. And if you want to learn more about, uh, about TypeScript, you can do that, name spaces and modules and all that. But enough talking, let's get started with uh, with coding our website. I'm going to start first of all with, um, uh, I already created a directory. As you can see, it's empty, so there's nothing in it. And uh, once you create the directory, wherever you want it, I'm going to be using cursor and uh, or VS Code, either one is, is good. So we're going to open that directory that I just created. 
it's right there as you can see it's empty and once there let me deactivate not to get you confused here okay so now it's completely empty so what we're going to do is create the website so we're going to start with mpx create uh, actually i was going to do app next it's so next js and then app and we'll just stick to the laters and it's going to ask you the name of your project in this case is going to be next.js youtube typescript definitely yes lint yes Helwin is the uh, styling library yes it's src directory source directory no app router definitely yes turbo pack no and customize values no and then it's going to start creating um, if you're gonna see them being created uh, down here and now it's ready and there you go now i'll clear it not to confuse you and if you go into the directory you're going to see all of these files that it created for you this is the styling global uh, where is it app and the most important file right now first of all let's open it so you, you make sure it works run dev oops i'm not in the folder next and then you have to be in the root folder in order to run it you go npm run dev and there it goes it's opening it normally it will open it on, on port 3000 but it's telling you that it's in use because i'm using it for this uh, for this one as you can see i'm using it there so it'll open it on on port 3001 so I'll just command and click and it goes in there and there you go this is your website the way it will work is telling you here if you want to edit it go to the app directory and to the page tsx and that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to go there find it this is the app directory T page tsx open it and that's all of that stuff is what you saw on the html here is this stuff okay so what we're going to do we're going to start from scratch because we're going to go from here let's let's get rid of all of this stuff and let's just open uh, another div yeah let's just stick to that command s and if we go there now it's hello world okay so i wanted to start from scratch we're gonna go from this to that and we're gonna show you how to do it one step at a time and uh, so in the next tutorial we'll, we'll i'll show you how to start working with the navigation i'll also show you explain to you about these files what they do and, and the and what what we need what we don't need and but we'll do that in the next tutorial uh, this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time with another great tutorial take care